this is now recording. You should okay. have got, do you see it up in the corner? I see it. It's recording. Okay, we're good. All right, what did you wear on the first date? short sleeve button down and some jeans. What color was your short sleeve? I want to say I was wearing a blue shirt. Okay. I want to say, I want to say it was my blue uh, Rivka shirt. Mm. Does she like it when you wear that? I threw it out because I don't fit in it anymore. So. Goals. Go, hashtag goals. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I think, I, I think it was too small even then, but. Uh okay yeah uh, um what did cat wear on your first date cat i'll, re I'll repeat the story uh no, <laughs> no cat, good for, oh. cat arrived from an i am more event very sweaty, um, a little greasy, and she further told me that she had to get change in her car on the way while passing cars were looking at her, and she felt very uncomfortable with it, but she did it for me and oh. for this date. So I want to say, I can't specifically remember, but I want to say she was wearing, let's just I'll say this in the nicest way possible. Let's say she wasn't dressed like it was the first date. <laughs> <laughs> it's not like she, <laughs> she let's just say she was dressed like it was possibly the, you know, we've been together for a year. <laughs> so, so she's still wearing the same clothes. <laughs> she, no, it was just, you could tell she came from something prior. Yeah, dressed in sweat. Pretty much. Not fashionably or but fashionably was, late. <laughs> but that's one of the things that I honestly liked about her is because I don't, I don't identify very well with someone who takes multiple hours to get ready. Yeah. So um, yeah. actually I liked it, so. Yeah, I would too. All right, who is your most embarrassing crush? Once again, now that, I'm, now that I went back and thought about it a little bit, I would say not embarrassing politically, obviously embarrassing, Brie Larson. Um, oh. Her worst is Tim Chiba, without a doubt. She lets me what? know. Hers, Hers is Tim is Tebow. Tebow. Yeah. Yeah. Hers is Tim Tebow. It's simple. What's your weirdest quirk? Uh, um, every time I pass by a mirror, I have to look in it. Like my family does. So it's just, it's across the board. Um, and then I would also add that, <laughs> I'll also add that um, I sing to Falco quite a bit. And so it's a good quirkiness that she has, that I have. That's her weirdest quirk. Reverse. Reverting back now, I would say um, she has, what did I say before? You did the demo, which I think you should demo again for all of us. The dance, her dancing, um, the punch dancing. Yeah. And then it's the low the punch dance. Oh, that's pretty good. You got the shoulders right and everything. It's the low punch dance that leads up to a lot. <laughs> and then she'll start, what's 
her quirkiness and what's funny is that she does dances from the early 2000s. That, <laughs> you know her hip hop days? I mean, she does them very, very well. But those are her like go-tos, her, um, you know, um, shoulder lean and like, um, what's that one? I forget what it is, but she, that's her, her quirkiness is her dancing, which I love. I was about to say, and everyone loves it. Yeah, and she's very good at it. So. True, true. I mean, Freddie Adu liked it. Yep. <laughs> so. <laughs> Made it work, though. Yep. All right, which Disney character are you most like? Beast. Ooh, he does Yeah, I thought him. about that one a little bit, yeah. Okay, in good ugly form, In ugly form, not prince form. I mean, you do got in the beard form. going like In beast form. And what Disney character does she most identify with? Moana. <laughs> <I feel bad. laughs> good face, Gabby. That was a good reaction to that one. Uh... What is Kat most likely going to end up in jail for? <laughs> She's going to end up in jail because she's saving an animal um, and then causes someone else to get hurt. For that. So or eating a whole or myself or something along the lines of that yelling at me that I need to stop the car or something like that to go get an animal. Something's gonna happen and then we're gonna cause an accident or someone's gonna get hurt. She won't hurt anyone herself, but she'll cause someone else. Yeah. yeah. All right, what's her favorite thing about you? that she likes I said my confidence before but I'm kind of looking back at that I think she just likes um, like having I don't want to say like having a best friend but then having like um, the security and having the comfort of being with someone um, mm -hmm. and I think that's something that we both really enjoy about each other is that when we're with each other we can really just be each other uh, or be ourselves yeah. Uh, authentic. Which I think is, it's authentic. So I think that we're not being fake people when we're with each other or trying to do something like that. And I think that's my personality allows both of us and her personality allows both of us to kind of do that. Um, other than that, my freckles. Sure. What's your favorite about her? Um, Um, her long neck and collarbones. <laughs> what I was going to say earlier was, does she do her big eye long neck thing that our family does to you? But like, like big eye long <laughs> she does do that every once in a while. Yes. <laughs> yes, she does. <laughs> that. Yeah. All right. Um, that was what she wants me to say because everyone always tells her that. But I think her, um, I can't say too much because it's in my vows. Which I've oh, okay. to let her know that. Wow. I haven't. I was just joking. <laughs> I was like, dang. <laughs> Someone's on top of it. Nope, I haven't done it. Okay. 
Um, what's your favorite pizza topic, topping? Jointly pepperoni. Jointly pepperoni, that's right. You guys are missing out on so many great flavors. I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> I, I enjoy a lot of other things, but together, when we're ordering a pizza, it's probably going to be pepperoni. <laughs> Uh, what's the first movie you saw together? Avengers Infinity War. Yes, don't you forget it. Don't forget it. Ask her what happened then. <laughs> What's your, uh, what's your personal favorite movie? Any of the Lord of the Rings? Nerd alert. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> What's her favorite movie? don't have to think about this one now where before I had a bit of a mental brain fart um pride and prejudice got it hopefully let's see what you're saying it says. better be I, I sound <laughs> awfully confident now so <laughs> i'm pretty sure that's, what, that's the one with kira knightley right oh yeah yeah mr dog then that's it yep um What's your favorite flavor of potato chips? Salt and vinegar. What's her favorite flavor of potato chips? Um, Ruffles, sour cream, and cheddar. If you could only eat one food for the rest of your life, what would it be? My favorite food is the ahi tuna sandwich from Brass Monkey in Paso Grill, Florida. <laughs> What, what's the one food that Kat would eat for the rest of her life? I gave you some time to think on that. Yeah, you did. It's an actual entree, probably sushi of some sort. Probably California roll. Boring. <laughs> I'm joking. It's a white girl. She said she would, if I ordered her, that was because first place that we ate was sushi, a place called Blue Fuga. And okay. she said if she would have ate, if I would have ordered a California roll, she wouldn't have went out on a second date with me. I would say Kat has found a new, well, she would eat for the rest of her life if she could ice cream or pizza, if her stomach could handle it. Yeah, I was thinking ice cream, but... Yeah. It's, I mean, this is as much a test for me as it is for you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I would say if she could do it, it would be ice cream or pizza. I think you're right. I think she would maybe last four hours in that endeavor, but <laughs> she, she wouldn't get far. <laughs> you wouldn't have to do it for long. <laughs> no.
Not at all. All right. What celebrity couple are you most like? That's a good one. Uh, who does she, she wants us to be like Dak Shepard and Kristen, whatever her name is. Bell, yeah, Bell. I love um, I think she really enjoys that couple. And when we watched A Good Place and I was kind of making some comments, I got some looks. So. Dirty looks, you don't want the dagger look from not good. Not good looks. Um, but that's who I would imagine that she wants us. Or if she could emulate some sort of family, that's who it would be. Yeah, they're pretty cute. Yeah. You guys should do that Rains in Africa music video. The Toto song. Oh, I, I'm, I'm, every time that song comes on, she goes, I love this song. So. Because doing it, I think. Yeah, I, I think she wants to do something along the lines of that. But <laughs> I'm screwed. <laughs> yeah. Um, what's your most prized possession? Mine? Mm -hmm. Our house. Okay. okay. What about hers? I hope she says our house. <laughs> um, I hope she says her engagement ring. No, I'm joking. Um, Probably uh, Falco. Oh, that's a Macon just went. <laughs> yeah. Falco. De definitely. Um, how does It'll Pat be mine like as well too, but. Oh, good. good, good. But I'll say for her. <laughs> Uh, how does Cat like her eggs cooked? Well, it depends on what we're having. If we're having avocado toast, she likes them obviously over easy. Sunny side. I would say she more likes them that way. I think so too. Yep. What, how do you really like it? I'm a creature of the moment. I mean, if I'm just, I'll, I would say I like a good omelet. Ooh. Yep. Any specific, like Denver or Santa Fe or American? What's de Give Denver? Me the it's the, Denver <laughs> is like the bell pepper, onion, ham is Denver. Like the green. I like that. Yeah. That's What's what the I other thought. one? American is like red bell pepper, onions, American cheese, bacon. I like that one too. <laughs> Any omelet. I like all omelets, yeah. Don't discriminate. Yeah, I don't. What celebrity would you like to be stuck on a desert island with? <sighs> Can be male or female. Dead or alive. Dead or alive. Ooh. You can't pick Jesus. You won't, don't worry. I'm just saying. <laughs> Hmm. Are we getting stuck on an island with? That is a good question. These questions are brain busters. Um, These dang bachelorette websites. I know. <laughs> I know. Dang I can only imagine the rabbit holes you have to go down. Uh, you have no idea.
I really don't know. That's a good question. Okay. What's her? um, who's hers? Mm-hmm. Oh God! Probably some sort of animal activist. Um, Joe Dirt. <laughs> Joe Dirt's great. She showed she she looks at me or two days ago. Two days ago, she's like, "We need to adopt." one of these dogs. I'm like, absolutely not. And she goes, well, David, these four dogs have had their front paws or their front legs butchered off. And they, we could get them uh, wheelchairs. I'm like, there's zero chance that I am doing that. Like, and then like, I immediately went over to Falca. And I'm like, she, like, she's the worst at like saying something and then, like me being like, absolutely not. And then she's like, well, they have no front legs. Asshole. you know <laughs> so I'm like well I'm kind of between a rock and a hard place right now but uh who would she want to be with Tim Tebow is a celebrity and I'm sure she would love to be on a desert island with him um I should probably just get posters of him and plaster them all over the house we're staying at probably wouldn't be a bad idea to have a few posters up <laughs> um and I'm stuck with those though after I don't, she's not too in love with like any celebrity that I know. Besides Tim Tebow. Besides except, Tim yeah, Tebow. except Tim Tebow. Yeah. Let's revert back to those. I'll, I got to keep thinking about those. Hopefully nothing yep. else you have is so hard of a question. What was the name of your first pet? Not as a couple, like Personally, what was the name of your first pet? Snoopy. What was the name of her first pet? I don't know. I think it was like some black lab, wasn't it? I don't know. It was, right? Like, at least I remember that. Um, I want to say, I don't know. I'm not going to. Do you want me to tell you so you know? Sure. Yeah, that'd be great. Abigail and Boo. I knew. Boo, I knew. Boo, you what, knew. Yes. That's that was a record. Yes. Yep. Now you know. Now I knew. Thank you. What? She's not going to get Snoopy. <laughs> well, don't tell her either. This is important. It's like you versus her, okay? I'm not saying anything of this. Okay. Yeah. Um, I do. He likes to win. They're both pretty good. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> She's uh, um, a little over the top, but yes. <laughs> there's going to be a few kids No, David, you get a prize out of this if you win, okay? Ooh, okay, cool. Yeah, looking forward oh, to it. All right. Um, which item of cat's clothing do you hate most? I know you have an answer to this. I do. Um, oh, this is good. This is a good one. Um, I got to be careful though, because it might be like a hand down from like someone or something. So I'm sure it's nothing that important. We don't. Um, this is a good one. Um, I'm trying to think of. Well, she's got these pair of like NASA socks, obviously, for some reason that she wears still that I tell her that I don't say anything about, but you know why she has those. NASA socks. Um, <laughs> and then, uh, um, I think she might have actually done something with them. But I thought she got rid of those. I'm pretty I don't know. sure. They were there for a while. But um, uh, 
Oh, there's these pants. There's, and I don't know if she got rid of these too, but there's these um, green pants that look like aloe leaves or like rainforest leaves. Those are green pants you're talking about. <laughs> you know which ones I'm talking about? Yeah, because I have a pair too. <laughs> I just, I'm not a fan of those. And I, I tried to let her know one time and she was like, she looked at me like, shut up, you have no sense of fashion. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> exactly. But those, what is she, what, okay. I, I see it, I hear you. Yeah. I'll consider, I'm just kidding. Yeah. Uh, what about, what does she hate that you wear most? Um, that's another good question. I'm going to be interested to hear this because she's just too, she's too flattering. She's too nice. And although she has been a little bit letting me know about certain things. So she's gotten back. Well, I'm engagement photos are coming up. So. I know. And we've kind of had our outfits picked out with that and run through with those. Um, you guys try them together to see if they look good next to each other? No, we haven't. No, just totally ignored that. Um, oh, this is painful. This is painful. You're gonna I be think, like, I'm not FaceTiming think, with your- I think she's too nice to say it. But? But. I think that my dad has gotten really into Hawaiian shirts and he's giving me some Hawaiian shirts that she doesn't want to be mean to me about, which I know that they suck. Because she wants you to continue wearing Hawaiian shirts. She exactly. just wants me to be the right Hawaiian shirts. She wants me to be the right Hawaiian shirts. I hear you. So I think that's something that she's going down. Okay. But I'm sure there's something else that's going to oh. go at the top of her head that I can't wait to hear. It's going to yes. be good. It is. Jeez. What is your favorite ice cream flavor? Mint chocolate chip. What's her favorite ice cream flavor? Uh, cookies and cream. What's your most repeated sentence? Or phrase or whatever. Catchphrase. Yeah, what's your catchphrase? What's your catchphrase? How do you brand yourself? Deals I, on deals on deals. I, <laughs> I don't have a catchphrase. Do I have a catchphrase? I think I'd be I surprised like if I do. That you say. I feel like there's things that you say all the time. I think she'll know more that like I have brain lapses more of where yeah. I just like pause and don't say anything. And she'll yeah. be like, are you going to talk? And then I'm, I'm like, oh, yeah. But um. Oh, there's the stress ball. There's that money ball right there, huh? That's when you're like making deals. You like pull that out and you're just like. No. Nah. Oh. <laughs> I feel like TV shows make it look like that happens. Yeah. It's like, I can uh... totally picture Pacey Witter and Dawson's Creek doing it. Yeah. And you know the season. I sit here. Uh, yep. These deals. Why won't they come? Um. <laughs> What about her? What does she always say? David! That, I think she started to say that more. Um, <laughs> oh, 
she's not gonna be happy with me on this. I don't know. No worries. No, we gotta skip that one. Who says I'm sorry first after a fight? Um, who's more stubborn after a fight? <laughs> because I think we both are very apologetic to each other. Um, after processing time? After processing time. I think I'm quicker and don't hold on to something as long. Mm. I think she, she's probably going to disagree with that. But I think she, I... I don't know your guys' relationship, but I could see that. <laughs> because I just don't want to argue. You know what I mean? I'd rather just move past it. Um, she, much like this, we might have an argument after it because she's like, how could you not remember this? Um, how could you feel? Uh, she like <laughs> internalizes this stuff. <laughs> it's so we are not the power couple I thought we were. You didn't know this about me. You don't. That's her. Um, so I would say that she is always going to apologize mm -hmm. in due course when she gets her point across um, and it's understood by the person on the other end. Right. Where I'm just kind of over and done with it. Like she wants to be constructive with her apologies. Mm -hmm. so it doesn't happen again, but it's gonna happen again. Um, so, <laughs> if you know what I mean. I hear you. Yep. Who fell in love first? I think I was more persistent to actually have the relationship go forward, but I think she fell in love first. I mean, you, she did make you talk to us like every day on a road trip. Yeah, I think on that road trip, and I'm not- I mean, you were the unofficial fourth member of our yeah, road trip. I think she actually missed me on that road trip. Yeah. And when she came back, she was like, okay, this could, could potentially be a real thing. And I think I felt the same way, but- you have not Thanked me for that. I probably Thanks, progressed Gabby. your relationship like the most. <laughs> <laughs> or if that trip never happened, we would have just, you know, had another month together. <laughs> but <laughs> nah, it should have been over you. You're no, welcome. It's true. It's true. <laughs> no, it's true. But I think that's that's the way I like to play it in my head. That I played hard to get, even though I was the one that was persistent. Persistent. Thank you. I agree. What's your go-to drink? Um, again, a great question that requires a certain um, level of explanation. I would say if I'm out, like, out, out at like a fancy dinner or something like that, I'm probably gonna go with some sort of, um, old fashioned Sazerac type of thing. Um, if I am some sort of beer, doesn't matter if I'm just shooting no, shit no preference. at a barbecue. Yeah. yeah. Um, no, something light. She knows I like okay. light beer. I'm not a big, I'm not, a, I'm not an IPA guy at all. Um, and then vodka soda, if I'm just, you know, about to get crushed. Yeah. So. I hear you. <laughs> I'm just going after it. So. Maybe that's your maybe that's your catchphrase. Cat, yep. about to get crushed. Yeah. <laughs> I've I uh, have said that to her on quite a few rap <laughs> occasions. What's her go? -to? Process. Champagne. Really? Yeah. I was gonna I was guessing it was the apple pie side hard cider. 
Uh, I think she's got quite a affinity to champagne now. Oh. Um, yeah, must be nice. Um, <laughs> and it, I would say any sort of juice in that champagne, whether it's a Bellini, whether it's mango, whatever the heck could potentially go in that champagne. She it's going it. Yep, exactly. And then she'll have, you know, one apple cider beer sure. and nurse that forever. So <laughs> be good. Put, us, put us all to sleep. Make her yeah. buy the six pack that lasts literally a year. Weird. That's yep. such a weird. Yep. Well, thank you for doing this with me. That's all I got for you. That's it. Thank you. I appreciate it. I'll let you know how it goes. Thank you. All right. You have not seen Making at Midnight. <laughs> <laughs> Correct. I have not. I'm I... like a gremlin. <laughs> this is now recording. You should okay. have got. You see it up in the corner. I see it. It's recording. Okay, we're good. Okay, I'm gonna go through those other questions really quick. Rocket fire. Rocket fire, the same ones that we had before. So okay. you should be prepared this time. I right? should be. Yeah, but there was a lot of good commentary between that. So I know. We'll, we'll get back to that. Before. I'll send it over in a, a Google Doc. Perfect. <laughs> a transcription. Yeah. <laughs> <A> transcription. Yes. <laughs> oh God. Sorry. Man, I should have done that with Jake. <laughs> Just so that, that's, that's what his, she says that's his flaw in my yeah, mind that's a serious flaw we need jake, to change jake only eats california rolls no he won't eat sushi at all i feel like that's so cute <laughs> those are those are psychotic tendencies you might want to look into it i know <laughs> like i might do facetime right now but... you oh. need to get this together <laughs> <laughs> you better get that she better. Like you haven't taken me to get that. Have you been? When was the last time you were on Pass a Girl? A long time. New Year's. That one New Year's when that brought the weird out. <laughs> that sounds good. I thought we went out that day. But we didn't get food. We went. We got. We got Mexican food. Remember, we just got. Oh um, yeah. I had quite a few margaritas. I mean, I think you might have spent two New Year's with that same guy. <laughs> he didn't show up the second time. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Poor Beck. <laughs> Edit that. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, man. All right. Wavy or not wavy? Wavy. It's ruffles. Duh. Ruffles. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Found ways. <laughs> well, I don't really like the baked kind. I just want you to know, in case you're ever buying meat potato chips. I wouldn't. I'm never buying baked potato chips. They suck. Oh, too healthy. Like, what's yeah. the point in eating potato chips? Couldn't agree more. Yeah. If you less guilt, people. <laughs> less guilt. <laughs> <laughs> less guilt. She she if does buy. Get back to me. <laughs> She does eat, Pat does like the baked as well, so. She's 40 in her own mind. Yeah. Let's see. I'll give you a funny story while you're thinking. Go ahead. My mom's like, so what are we going to be doing? And I was like, mom, don't worry. I'm looking up clean games. And then she's like, oh, okay, good. And I was like, actually, what I was thinking is we're going to get a string and we're going to tie a hot dog on the string and tie it around our waist. And then you got to swing it around and hit the cup over. She's like, what? And then I was like, and then I'm going to get some bananas and I'm going to get some condoms and you can only put the condom on the banana with your mouth. And the first one, to win, she's like, what? She's like, like no, I'm not going. She's like, have you actually been to bachelorettes like that, Gabby? And it's like, no, mom, I'm just researching yeah. games. I'm not going to do that. Um, yeah. Making hats. Yeah. And it not happened. just at a bachelorette. It happened at midnight. That was last night. Okay. Um, <laughs> can't yeah. wait. Maybe I should record her answering that question. You should. You should record her answering. Um, 
so I can get the true reaction because all I got previously was her just yelling at me because it was her, you know, a lot of mimosas deep and then her yelling at me. Oh God. So I'd be interested to see how this one goes. I'm sorry. Please. Oh man. All right. Thanks dude. You're the best. Later on guys. Have a nice day. Bye. I'll send you this Record too. Record it. Yeah. I was about to say, send, send it to me. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye.